Good evening, everyone. Tonight we will be discussing neutral hyper seven, neutral zone, for checking and back checking. Let's get started. Background. Neutral zone changed dimensions over the last several years. Lead to a change how teams defend this area. Two line pass is not allowed. Opens up new options in this, in this zone. Breakout teams can move puck to far blue line from behind their own net. And while skating up ice can move puck at any time to far blue line. Lots of space to cover. Pressure leads to opponents having less time and making mistakes. You take advantage with extra room to work with. If teams sit back, opponents have extended time to read, to read and make a play with less space to work with. Breakout teams moving puck to far blue line from neutral zone. Here's the breakout teams right here. Very good. Both defenses right here, a breakout team right here. They're both going, moving the puck to the far blue line, which is right there. Then you have both forwards right here. One, two, two wide, four checking systems. Simple system and very effective in and clogging up the neutral line. Most important factor in making it work effectively is the play of a forward one. Never four checks too deep or wide and give up wide and give up mid, mid ice space. Forward one takes a shallow angle and steer the puck carrier to one side. If a defense to defense pass is made by opposition, Forward one reacts, reattacks, excuse me, a shallow angle once again. Forward one must stay within six feet of blue line when initiating push and take away mid ice pass with a well placed stick. And opposition have returned defense to defense pass. Forward one remains between dots to take away mid ice space. Push forward one. And he's remaining here to take away the mid ice space. Here's defense one and defense two. You can see the trying to skate here. And defense one is trying to shoot or trying to skate up here, excuse me. One, two, two, wide, four checking systems, again. Forward two and forward three. Forward two is a sheet. He stands up and keeps the chain right line. Forward three, wide lane, and makes sure no pass get to a player now. He's in the middle of ice. Ready to adjust to puck. If puck is moved, to mid ice or up boards, all five players react. All five players. Defense one would overplay boards when puck comes up forward two's side. Defense two stays mid ice. Forward three takes wide lane. You know, two different versions of the one, two, two, wide four checking system right around here. We've got forward one right here, taking the Y. The forward two down here, going this way. Forward three up here. Defense one, right there. Defense two, and, de and this defense. Defense three, I don't know where that's supposed to be. <clears throat> got same thing right here, so just a little bit of a a little bit of a difference. You got forward one making a wide turn right here. You got forward two down here. 
forward three up here, crossing the blue line. We have D down here, trying to make a shot up to the defense two, defense three, defense two, and defense one. And what I think is offset, and what I think is offense right there. Looks like offense. One, three, one, four checking systems. Three player, three player across middle of ice, eliminate any room up middle, but gives up space behind on far blue line. More difficult to make long passes, especially through traffic, played in two ways. Designating with which defense is up in the middle of ice. Having defense react depending on which side puck is on. One defense is designated as up player and the other D is designated as back player. So you got defense one, up player. Defense two, back player. You got forward three, going across the blue line. Forward two, going back and forward one, making a wide turn. One, three, one. Forward has forward one has freedom to go deeper because three lanes are covered and behind forward two and forward three play their sides of ice. If puck, car if puck carrier comes up forward two's side, forward two stands up and prevents him or her from gaining their line. Forward three ensures Y lane is locked up and prevents any passes from going to players in behind defensive two, behind defense two. Defense two tightens up in the middle of ice, playing as far up as top of the circle. Defense two may skate forward or accept a rush skating backward. Defense two must keep in tight gap in the middle. Defense one sits back and stays in the middle of it and is in the middle initially and reacts to wherever the puck goes. Here's the diagram for the one three one four checking system. Got forward one, got defense two, going whatever way he needs to go, he or she. Several different options are here. You got forward three going across the blue line. Defense one down here. Forward two going backwards it looks like and offense one going towards forward two. Two one two for checking systems. Applies more pressure in the neutral zone. More aggressive neutral zone for checks. Forward two and forward three attack opponents defense in a staggered fashion. If offensive if offense one has positive forward two forces and forward three will be halfway to offense two. If a pass is made to, off to offense two, forward three will jump immediately. Forward one locks onto other teams center, making sure no passes can be made to the middle of ice because both defense because both defenses have outside responsibilities. Defense one moves on any passes to offensive forward. Defense two goes And here's the diagram for what, for what I've just explained. Defense one, offense four, offense two, offense Forward and three, four, one, defense two, and offense five. Okay, defense one going up here to intercept offense four. We got offense one, we got forward two shooting over to offense one. Offense one shooting to offense two. Offense two shooting over to offense four. 
I'm going down the different one. We have forward one making a wide turn right here. You got offense three doing the same thing. Offense one has that option to go this way as well. Offense five is appears to be stationary. You got defense two moving that. One two two mid lock mid ice lock. Denies teams the ability to bring puck up middle and forces teams to move puck wide and try to enter up boards. Forward one starts by steering up to one side. May take away either defense to defense return pass or wide range pass, depending on which is a priority. Influences the angle forward one takes and also the position of his or her stick. Over two challenges offense one before red line, forcing him or her to, to ice puck or chip in behind. Over three locks across hard on opposing player in mid ice. Over three does not allow passes to any player in mid ice. Forces the opposition to make the long wide pass to gain entry to the offensive zone. Wide lane pass, Raider, forward on. Or you got the return pass, right here, also forward one. You got defense right here. You got defense right here. It's the 1 2 2 mid ice lock, four checking system diagram. B1 recovers any chips, so let's see here. D1 covers any chips in behind it, forward two, which is down here, and ready to challenge any bad, any bank passes to, up, to offense three, which is right here. Defense two is responsible for wide passes to offense four. Right there. And you got offense four, which is up here. Which is up here, sorry. Uh, defense two must be alert because this is a one team street. Team street to break the one, two, two mid ice lock. Passes wide to offense four. Right here and try to have him or her pick up speed before pass is made. They have to pick up speed before pass is made. Retreating, one, two, two. Very defensive setup and similar to one, two, two mid eyes lock. Five players tighten up for forward when moving down to top of offensive zone circles. And the two defense back no farther than the center red line. When the offensive team advances up ice, all five players skate backwards and retreat in a tight pack. Creates visual of limited space for the offensive team. Four two and four three remain wide, but align themselves to bounce, giving enough space along the board. Defense two stays back in mid ice, but is ready to confront any wide lane passes. All five players should move like there is a rope. Tying them together. They all should be on the move. Forward three, forward one, forward two, one, defense two, and offense. Offense is moving. Forward two is trying to block out, trying to block offense. Forward one is swinging, is it trying to, is it trying to intercept the offensive hand. Forward three is going to sweep this way. We got defense one. Trying to go up this way, defense two, 
Neutral network. Neutral zone back to D. Back checks. Starts once puck is turned over in the offensive zone and doesn't end until either puck possession has been regained or how or you shift into a defensive zone coverage. All three forwards need to be involved on the back check. Some teams use one forward as back checker and two for coasting back and watching other teams. Defense jump on. Also, for quick counter attacks. Using long stretch passes once puck is turned over does not result in as many turnovers when all three forwards come back. Provides offensive team with more space to work with as they advance up the ice. Pack check is set up by players a lot. Players are what Players away from the puck recover the puck to the attack. Back up a pinching defense, being in a high offensive position in the NC. Nickel zone back checking diagram A. There's two of these. You've got it. Forward one, which is recovery, right? The offense one, shooting up to offense two, being over to offense three, get forward two, skating in to take the puck. Oops. Yeah. Um, you know, offense one, skating behind the net, going wide, over here to offense three, defense one. You got forward three right there. And you got forward one. Oops. Yep. Forward one right here. Shooting the offense one, offense two, offense three. Shooting over the defense one. The forward two, trying to intercept right here. Yep. Forward three. Swing wide to try to intercept and get defense to skating or skating across the blue line. Neutral zone back tricking. Forward three, high forward position is key to eliminating odd man rushes against one in a high position. Forward three has two eyes, two choices to force breakout. Immediately pressure pass if he or she has support from a teammate who is recovering to high slots. If he or she doesn't have support, second option is to soft lock. Referring to forward three not going for a hit but angling the offensive player up ice and running him or her out of room or making him or her him, hurry a, him or her hurry a pass. Keeps in rush and not behind it. If offensive player makes a good pass, the player's forward three is still in a great position to apply back checking pressure and chase down the rush. We got offensive, well, offensive two, shooting the offensive three, and shooting the shooting across the ice. We got forward three down here, and he has two options yes and no. You know, seriously. Um, you can't go this way. It's not. It's not a good idea to go that way because of what, because of the offensive two and offensive three right here. But he can go this way and try to intercept the puck that way and cut off the offense. Number one key to effective back check. Move into a high into a high recovery position. All forwards on four check move immediately into a high recovery position. When puck is moved from them in the offensive zone or after they make a hit, high recovery area. 
Top of the circles in the offensive zone. One forward in this area rarely gives a pod and then a record. If forwards don't recover, they won't be in the position to help out. So we will. We've got offense one, offense two down here. If anybody can see that, you got forward one over here. Offense one shoots onto offense two, or it can go like this and shoot a wide to the to the circle for recovery for recovery area. Number. Two key to effective back check pressure the attack from behind. All forwards come back hard at early middles. Back check hard and prepare to move in transition with speed once puck is turned over. All three forwards must come back hard. Not just the responsibilities of the high forward or the closest forward. So we got forward one. Two, three, offense, defense, one, defense, two. Forward one, high recovery, two, and three. All stay in the same position, so they take all of these ones out. High forward, long transition period. Time to move into a transition. Number three, key to effective backup. Outnumber them at the line. Keep, keep pressure and attack from behind. Have an in at the defense blue line. Squeeze attack from both sides with forwards pressure test or uh, pressing from behind one of the D's defenses, keeping a tight gap on the other side. Puck off them will be turned over in this area or opposition will be forced to dump the puck in. So opposition one, two, and Three. One of these two will be forced to dump the pocket. Forward one, two, and three, defense one, and three. Number four, we have set rules for forward one and defense one. Two is to have a player carrying the puck once play advances at a blue line. And which player holds inside position? Forward one pressures puck carrier hard. And if he or she can catch him or him or her before. Center does try to have opponents turn puck over. Releases puck carrier to the offense to the defense for D1 and forward holds inside position and supports defense. The defense of one defense one calls that he or she has puck carrier and stands him or her up at line, knowing he or she has inside protection from forward one. Forward one pressures puck carrier hard from behind, continues to try to steal puck and keep puck carrier wide all the way into the zone. Defense one recognizes this, that this is the strategy and now holds inside position and supports forward one while looking for late players. We got forward one and defense one. We have to have set rules for these two. Knowing that they, and they both have to be, they both have to understand what they're doing and at the right time. Yeah. Forward one going all the way up to here. Yeah. Defense one starting right here and going up to here. The offense, you the offense right here. We got forward one all the way up here and defense one. <clears throat> Number five. Watch for stretch pass. Watch for stretch players. 
the defense must be aware of the strict threat. At times, it will be the responsibility of the wide forward when forecasting our position or possession of puck in offensive zone and opponents, send a player out early into neutral zone. It's important that closest defense drop back in coverage and hold the ice. When covering a stretch, a stretch player, you don't have to skate close to the player. Maintain mid-ice position and equal depth. Quick pass. Make sure you have support before going out to play stretch player. Do not allow stretch player bump the puck into mid ice to create an odd man rush. Yeah. On position three, two, and down here one. Three, two, three, one. <clears throat> yeah. We got defense one and defense two and defense. Shooting to a position three, shooting up to a position two or three. We got defense one skating down here, with defense two skating back here. Wide lane lock. Neutral zone back checking system. First forward on back check immediately moves to an outside lane. Once forward gets into wide lane, he or she may skate backward or forward, but must always be able to see puck in any opposing skater in that lane. Forward is responsible for any opposition player skating between the Clean that in the boards on that side. Defense one moves to mid ice, assuming responsibility for this lane. Defense two takes a strong side where puck carrier is. Offensive team will have difficult time getting across blue line with puck. All three defense player, defensive players, defense one, defense two, and forward one attempt to stand attack up at Blue line while forward two and forward three continue to pressure from behind attacking players. Forward one prevents any passes to the outside and stay close to his check. Always, always best to be deeper than a point of the good defensive side position. Defense two, defense one, forward one, forward three, and forward two in opposition. Opposition is going this way, you got defense two going that way. Trying to turn in front of one, you got defense one going this way, you got forward two coming down here, skating from off of the board, you got forward three going up this way, up this way. You got forward two going that way. Of a slight turn. Mid lane back check. Once puck is turned over, high forward should be to should be to get to mid ice and come back hard through center scene. All forwards come back through the middle, allowing defense or allowing, allowing the defense to play outside areas. First forward back protects the defense from being beaten inside by always staying between puck and net. If defense makes a mistake, the forward in the middle accommodates puck carrier and forces him to stay wide because of lack of space inside. When first forward come back through the middle, he or she should come all the way back to low slot area. Then move out to support defense. So second and third left checking forwards should once again come back hard. Look around for any late players entering zone. Stop at tight of stop at top of circles in good defensive position. They should stop defense on one, defense two, 
you come over here and you need to stop at the top of the circle right here. The forward woman is getting through here. Forward two, let's get up here. Forward three, then it's the exact same position. You got off position one. Then two down the boards. Hounds at the top. Look forward, hounds top. That checks towards where the top. As hard as he or she can. The pass is made. Forward continues to press to pressure top. Forwards limit time and space for opposing players if they move through middle round. Defense hold inside position, protecting the space between without and without advantage. Opponent has little time to cut for the middle round. The forward are quick and back check and work hard. Position of defense stays inside. Disadvantage. Confusion between back checking forwards and defense as what to do if forwards cannot check a position by blue line or to front pass quick. No. You got yeah, opposition two, opposition one, defense two, defense one, opposition two is getting long up here. I mean, opposition one up here. We got a position one skating down, shooting down here, looks like, or skating down here. The forward one skating up here, forward two, forward three, going straight, along with defense two and defense one. This is how, this is what they call hound in the park. Right here, between opposition one and opposition two. We have three micro zone, four check in and back check in videos for you to watch. So, and I believe that this will surely help you if these two videos don't. But I believe the videos will too. This is Coach Cody again. I will see you. I will uh, talk to you, talk to you soon.